totally different setup, but welcome to Hungry and Bored. I'm your host, so different. Nate. It does look different. With me, we have Flizmo today. Ernie. Ernie, speak into your microphone. Ernie. There you go. So welcome, everybody. So, yes, it does look a little bit different. We do have our board piece set up today. And today's game is Marvel Champions. Marvel Champions. Um, yeah. But before we get there, we have our hungry side. And Ernie did amazing this time. Ernie, tell us a little bit about what you made today. So I guess I'm a couple years late to the party. But I know a couple years ago there was a sushi bake, really big, like TikTok um, thing. So it took me two years or, or so. Wow, two years. And we have a sushi bake, which is actually, I wrote it down in my um, journal slash recipe book. Okay, okay. So it was in here a couple months ago, but I finally had a chance to get to, get to it. You know, you've got rice, salmon, imitation crab meat. Yes, it's imitation. That's all right. Still, I'm the baller. Still good. Still good. <laughs> Green onions, cream cheese, uh, kewpie mayo, uh, sesame oil, mirin, furikake, various other stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what we have. So so let's dig in. Let's try it. And, and first of all, all right. it's not. So it's a sushi bake. I'll but dig in to try it. It's we know not that. sushi. Right. It's not sushi. I know you're a big sushi guy. You I know am. all the spots. You're I like, oh, you're so critical of sushi, sushi but. This is a sushi bake. Okay, a sushi so, bake. Yeah. And there's some uh, seaweed things. So would you, would you like to serve me some sushi bake? I'm not going to serve you, uh, but yeah. you can serve yourself. You could cut or you could just scoop. You could do whatever you want. There's a couple. I don't know if you want avocados. I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. This, this is my first sushi you can, bake. So scoop some and put it in this and make a little like mini seaweed Sushi baked taco. Oh, look at that. Mm. Wow, look at that. Dang, the steam that's coming off. So you just use these little smells amazing. things and make little. Jeez. I've never made this. Well, wow, that's before hot. Or as a test thing, but you know. Yeah, so that's the hungry part. Wow, that's actually really good. And for those of you who are watching, you're like, "Oh, you're not eating it right." Okay, put it in the comments. Tell us how to eat it right. Okay. Well, when I saw people making this, they didn't eat it this way. But oh, how'd they, they eat it? Actually, they never showed the part before it got to their mouth. So it was like it had this nice little folded little green. Seaweed thing, little taco. Um, Got it. You need like sriracha. There is sriracha on here. Do you need more? I think I need a little bit more. Just FYI, I have the the poor man sriracha, <laughs> the, the wannabe sriracha. No wonder why it doesn't taste like sriracha. <laughs> Shut your you mouth. can, you can taste Hold on. the poor man sriracha that Ernie has used. Wow. But so first time having a sushi bake. So far, so good. You know, as Ernie said, I am a huge sushi person, although this isn't sushi, but like any seafood type of food, I am a huge fan of. So I've I've gone to multiple stores. I ran out of I ran out of sriracha like a week ago or so. And I can't find it anywhere. Three or four or five different stores. So I got Roland Sriracha ch Chili Sauce. Very disappointed in you. It, it says Sriracha. Oh, hot. Huh. Um, so it's a spicy and garlicky. There you go. But I can't find the regular Sriracha. Sriracha. It does taste a little bit different. 
has a nice dragon on it. So different than what I think Rooster is on the other one. Yeah. But I, I can't find it anywhere. So it's still still hard to get. <clears throat> wow. It's really good. I, I'm not going to lie to those of you who are watching. If you want something different, that's not a burger. That's not one of the sandwiches we've made. This is what I would consider completely different off the charts of what Ernie has ever made. And it's easy. You've got your white rice. You've got your imitation crab meat. If you want to go buy real crab, do you? Um, salmon. You don't have to add salmon, but I did just to kind of. You got fancy with it. Just to get fancy with it, I guess. So it's pretty. it's pretty easy. The only thing is. There's a lot of different Asian, like, sauces that I used. So you have the sesame oil, you have the mirin, you have... I do taste a, there is a... All of these other little things. So you might think, oh, if you have those and if you make Asian uh, entrees and stuff, you might already have those. If not, you, you'll probably spend a good... 30 to $40 just on those little sesame oil, mirror. Um, I want to say colorful flavor, but I, don't, but I can, there is distinct tastes of different sauce, the sriracha, some of the seasoning you use. So Scoopy mayo, it does stand out and it's really good. You can use white people mayo too, but this is the Japanese mayo. So. Wow. Good. Really good. I'd say let's go from one to ten. Here we go. I'd give it about an eight. Mm, mm. It would it would be <laughs> higher, but you're using the, the poor man <laughs> sriracha. That's all they had. Mm. This was no, solid eight. Eight out of ten. Would definitely recommend. I don't know where this was from. Target or Save Mart? No idea. One of the two. Mm. That crunch is nice. And there's avocado if you like. So here's the weirdest, well, one of the weirdest things about me. One of the One. Many. One of them. Many. One, one of, of the many. many. One of the many. Whatever. Um. It is tough for me to eat avocado by itself, but I can eat guacamole. Guacamole. Guac. Guac. Guacamole. Guacamole. Anyway, so if I eat avocado by itself, I get a headache. But if I eat guacamole, I'm fine. I don't know. Call it a placebo effect. Call me it weird. Is, it's all in your head. It's all in your face. <laughs> I was going to critique something about it, but I won't. Critique it. No, critique I'm just going to leave it. Critique it, Ernie. I made a little bit too much rice. The rice should have been a little bit, Thin. maybe a quarter of an inch less across, but so you might have a lot of rice on there, but whatever. No, yeah, I can, like, if you look at my plate, there is more rice than, like, the sushi part. It's equal. It should be, I, the, there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of rice, but I judge on, excuse me, taste a yeah. lot of times. So. Really good. Definitely should try. I, I, I want to try one of these by itself. Whoa! I didn't make this though. No. It's just seaweed, isn't it? It's seaweed. Nobody wants to hear the crunch. It's like when you hear people chewing. That's a weird, that's a weird crunch, though. It's, it's, it's not bad. No, I like it. So, Ernie, as I continue eating, let the viewers know a little bit about our board game today. So, last week, I picked my number one party game. And if you... If you didn't watch that, go watch it first. I'll wait. 
You want to stay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My number one party game is just one. I'm just going to recap. Um, it's from Repost Production, Ludovic Rudy and Bruno Sauter. Um, but I would say this is probably one of the best board games I have ever played. It's three to seven players. You can have more than seven. Just you'd probably have to like pair up. So for example, you had 14 people. It would be two on a two per. Um, but there are seven board, little writing boards with pens and stuff. Um, and this was my, it honestly is my number one board game. If you haven't played it, you honestly need to play it. It's a co-op game in the sense that the person whose turn it is, you're working to try to get both of you points. Um, fun game, top party game, hands down right now. Just one. If you, you can borrow it, let me know. I'll let you borrow it. Every time I, I let a lot of people borrow games. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I never get them back. I think I have like five of your board games. I don't care. Keep them. I don't care. If you're going to use them, all good, whatever. Um, but just one, you can borrow this one. Just, Hey, I'm having a party. There's like eight people coming. Can I borrow it? Sure. Just let me know. And you can pick it up. But after you play it, you will want your own copy. It is that good. One of the best hands down. Um, so that's a party game. So the, there is a, another game this week. Um, it's a, amazing one player game and i know what you're thinking who plays board games by themselves honestly i was thinking <laughs> that right now because it's interesting like why would you play a board game by yourself <laughs> i know it's weird to i've always thought who plays board games by themselves oh poor thing they don't have friends so monopoly they're like playing oh and then it's your turn so they're acting like somebody else is here and so Solo board games are really, really, um, it, they're a thing. Um, and it took me, it took a lot to get through, like, okay, that whole, like, really a board game by yourself? So, right. yes. It's, I mean, solitaire. You play solitaire on your phone or whatever. That's a one player. That's a card game. That's a board game. On your phone, though. It's a single player game. Okay. So you can actually. Single player so game. Last week, I saw a guy playing solitaire by himself. Side note. Do you have more seaweed? I do. We'll get it in a bit. So I saw a guy last week at a coffee shop in Manteca playing solitaire on a table by himself. And I thought, oh, wow. Like, I've never really seen people play card games mm -hmm. by themselves. But solitaire is a single player game. Same idea. You know. Um, so you can do it on your phone. You could do it in person. You could deck cards, whatever. Um, so I tried playing Mar... I don't even say the name of it. My number one game to play one player. One player by, by yourself. Himself. So you're by your home by yourself. You're like, I have no friends. He likes oh. to play with himself. And you have no friends to play a board game with. You might, you might have friends, but um, do you, you want to play a board game by yourself? I would honestly say the number one board game. So you went from party. You have a lot of friends to me. You have like, oh, I'm by myself. I have no friends. Marvel Champions. Um, you don't really need to be like into the whole Marvel lore of stuff. You don't have to have like the deep knowledge of all right. of the, the Marvel games and stuff. But I mean the Marvel movies and, or anything, comics. But this is probably one of the my top solo player games. And if you, again, you want to borrow it, let me know. You can play it. Um, but... Nate, I thought oh, it's like one to four players. Yeah, one to four players. Um, <clears throat> super, so the what is it, the objective of the game is to make sure that you are working together with your teammates or other superheroes to then defeat the villain. It's a co-op game. And right. that's another thing. That's another thing. It took me a bit to kind of go, what, really? Like, so you're working together. So it's not all of these games that probably should, if you have Monopoly, first of all, go throw it away. 
Oh. Throw Monopoly yeah. away. Th- no. Yeah, okay. Put okay. it in the trash. All right. There's whatever. no room for, like, Monopoly. I probably, you don't even know. You probably inherited it, first of all. Monopolies are cool. Somebody gave it to you. Yeah. You didn't go to the store. You didn't buy it. Right. So put it, pick it up. I'll wait. Walk to the garbage <laughs> and put it in the trash. <laughs> the, the, like, no. no. Yeah, okay. I, I, can see um, I can see that. And all the games we grew up playing were each person tries to kind of like beat the other. Right. But Marvel Champions, a few other ones I'll highlight next week and the week after whatever, but they're co-op. So I'm working with Nate. We're working to defeat, in this instance, Rhino. Yes. Um, we're working to defeat Rhino, which is the, the bad guy. Um, Captain Marvel. He's Peter Parker. Uh, Peter Parker. Spider-Man. If you didn't know. If you didn't know like, yeah, yeah, Spider-Man, Peter Parker. So it's a co-op game. We're working together to defeat one boss, which took, again, was like one of those things where it's like, it's a co-op but game. It's, so it's, if you don't know single player games, now you do. They're big. Yep. And this game can be played single player. Also co-op games, which me and Nate are working to defeat Rhino. So he has a turn, I have a turn, whatever. We can kind of combine forces. Right. Wonder Twins. <laughs> you don't know about that. Do no. you know Wonder Twins? No. But do you know oh, the... Uh, <laughs> you hold on. Oh, God. Here we go. What's Wonder Twin? Wonder Twin powers activate. Form of... No. That sounds familiar. Oh, Wow. DC, yeah, Wonder Woman. So, yeah, interesting. <laughs> I grew up on what there was cartoons of Wonder Twins and a yeah. few others. So it was Wonder Woman. She would fly the invisible jet. Wonder Twins. We'll wait till Nate kind of. Sorry, my first uh, <laughs> my first thing was uh, that I thought it was Go Tanks. Oh. That was my the fusion. No. Yeah, okay. Went down. So oh, Wonder Twins. Working together. If you don't know Wonder Twins, Google it, watch it. Wait, Probably an episode go, on there somewhere. Go tanks. No. Then you know what real fusion and teamwork is like. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Marvel Champions. Marvel There's a Champions. lot of expansions to this. You can go buy decks and all this other stuff. Yeah. But you don't need to. Uh just a good game. Co op. Single player. Probably one right now, my number one single player game. Ernie, you play by yourself? Ernie that? does play by himself. Just call me. I'll come and play a game with you. Hey, so if you want to play with Ernie, Marvel Champions. whether it's co-op or even against him, let him know. In case you forgot, just one party. This is more. F- this has never been used because I don't have friends to have a party. <laughs> just the <kidding>. loser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And there was another game that we... Uh, We'll be playing in the near future. So I bought a game. We played it and I let someone borrow it. I never got it back. Never got it back. So another good party game, which reminds me of that, which my nephew, Elijah, Ooh, never Elijah gave it back to Ava. me. I let him borrow another party game, which is probably up there with just one. It's called. Um, Cat. Err. I forgot. Monikers? Monikers, that's it. Oh, I was going to say Malarkey. You have it? I have it. See, somebody has my game. <laughs> <laughs> it's been sitting at my house in my on my dresser. So but monikers, monikers, just one, number one. Monikers, number two. Monikers is such a fun party game. It's a good party game. Yes. It is. So number one and Monikers, number two. When I, If I ever get that back, you want to borrow it, let me know. I'll, I'll bring it back by next week or something. Yeah. That way you can add it out to all the ladies who want it. We're going to go play with their boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. So, yeah. So we have it set up here. Um, we've done a couple turns already. Right now, it's uh, in the action phase or villain phase. Um, so, yeah. We won't bore you with sitting through a 45-minute game. So as I was setting this game up, because, you know, er, while Ernie cooks... I usually do the setup for the games and all that stuff. Um, one thing that came to my mind to ask you, Ernie. Oh, God. Gosh. Says it God. It's okay. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, 
what would it be and why? I think that's, I honestly, I probably give the answer. Most people would, which is teleportation. Uh, is, is teleportation really the, yeah, it's like, well, it's like I'm in Japan. I'm in Australia. I'm in Africa. I'm in New York. That's true. Okay. I, I can like see that. You, I can definitely <laughs> see that. Right. You, you know, you, you blink and you teleport to another. I'm in okay. Florida. Okay. okay. I don't know if you have to do this. I don't know if you have to blink you, each time. And nod your head. And nod your head. I'm going to uh, Alaska. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Hiro Nakamura. Hiro Nakamura. Do you know where that's from? You don't know nothing about that from. No, no, no. no. Hito Nakamura. Wait, 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 don't say another word. Uh, save the cheerleader. Save the world. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you know about it. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, save the cheerleader. Save the world. <laughs> so that show. If you haven't seen this show. This show is incredible. It is good. But it, it got works. canceled because it people is. were freaking stupid. No, it's good. What he is do. it, Ernie? He do. It was Hi-ya. He do. Um it's something with uh like not eclipse. No, yeah, it does have to do with an eclipse. It, it, an eclipse happens I can see and, the, it, and it I can see the gives people everything. powers. Yeah. Um he do Nakamura is the one that was given the ability to travel by teleporting and also freeze time. Ernie doesn't know. I can't remember called. the name of it, but save the cheerleader, save the world. Save the cheerleader, really? save the world. Hero Nakamura. Like, that was a great show. It's Heroes. Heroes. Yeah. So if you haven't seen Heroes, look it up, find it, go buy it on DVD somewhere. It's like Hayden Penetary. That's her first yeah. show. and. I don't even know if she does anything now, but there's a few there. Let's see. Hayden Penetary. Penetary. I know she was married to like Vladimir Kitchko's Jack or, Coleman, Hayden Penetary, Milo Ventimiglia. So Milo Ventimiglia is on. He's actually now for uh, everybody. Now, if you're watching this, you know who Milo is. He's on. Uh, that show, click on his name, so it'll tell you what the um, <laughs> number one show in the U.S. like for the last three years. This is us. Yep, this is us. This is us. So everybody who watches this is us. And yeah, you, you cry every week when you watch. Well, you, uh, you. it ended like last season. It ended like a the last. It was it's it's over. Oh, oh. Um, like maybe a year ago, six months ago. Um. Yeah. Spoiler, he like dies. It's like the first oh, episode shoot. maybe. But no, I watched it too. And okay, okay. It's one of those you're like every episode. Every single episode. I don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> so hold up. Every I single I don't believe that. I think that's cap. Every There's single no episode of this show, it's like they said, okay, you need to make somebody cry. Everybody needs to cry who's watching this or you were not, we, we failed. So every episode you watch of this, you're like, Ugh. like, I don't know. No, ah. Dude, no. What, what, what can you watch it on? I'll, I'll have to watch and it. And it's tonight. the, the other singer girls on it too. What if, um, what's her name? Oh, on that show. Yeah. Uh, hold on. She's a singer. She's also on like tangled. What's her name? I don't what's know. I, I don't know. Mandy Moore? Mandy Moore. Is it Mandy Moore Tangled? <sighs> Dude, I, I'm now going, I'm going down the IMDb. <laughs> she's like tang- the Tangled hole. girl, like the Rapunzel. She's like, I think, she, I think she's Family Rapunzel. Guy, Rapunzel's Tangled Rapunzel. Adventure. She's Rapunzel. Um, yeah. Ralph Excellent show. Tangled show. I don't know about Rapunzel. Rapunzel's fine, whatever. Um, but this is us. I don't know. I, I I will have to watch it. I'll uh, I'll download it and I'll I'll watch. You don't it. have to download it. It's like on like, like Hulu or something. So you want to know, Ernie? When you drive and you hit the mountains and you don't have service, 
It's best to download the video so you can. You hit watch the it. mountains. Okay, I'll hit the mountains. You're in Modesto. Yeah, but I'm leaving L.A. this week, so going through uh, what is it? The grapevine. The grapevine. I always lose signal. I have T-Mobile. T-Mobile sucks. That's true. So yeah, I got to yeah. download a few different things to get me through the grapevine no, at least. Like this is us as five or six seasons or something. Dang. Well, <laughs> so from previous talks of what we were shows we were watching, I have officially finished. Uh, the rookie. Oh, I thought you were gonna say R R R. No, I did finish R R R though. <laughs> I told. Oh like, my okay, gosh. Hold on, okay, hold on, okay. I, I okay. Hold on. Hold on. Shh. Quiet. You quiet. Go. Quiet. Okay. <laughs> go. If you recall, if you don't recall, watch the previous episodes. If not, if you haven't watched them, I mentioned a movie that I was wa- I watched. I've watched multiple times, like four hours long or something. But it's called. R R R, like literally, it's not A R A R A R. No, R R R. The letter R, letter R, letter R. It's a um, what do they call those? Uh, Bollywood. Bollywood type movie, and I I had suggested you need to watch it. I watched it, and I was like, I texted a friend, and was like, watch this. I'm like, oh, thanks. I'll see. You, you know, whatever. They probably never watched it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. They see it's like four hours long. Like, no, I don't have time for this. Yeah, it, it was very. Now I will say, hours. Nate. Nate watched it. I don't know what he thought about it, but he said he watched it. So, what did you think of my favorite movie of twenty twenty two? Oh, it's twenty twenty. It might have came out earlier, but I watched it in twenty twenty two. Oh, okay. All right. So, there you go. All right. So, <laughs> I will be completely R-R-R. honest. When I saw this, <laughs> I saw a clip of it on TikTok. Just the the dancing at the party. Oh yeah, when they're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was really cool, that but was, that was cool. as cheesy or like over that cheesy, but over the top as it was, this movie, I'd give it about a nine out of ten. I loved it. Had me laughing. It had me a little bit more here on the serious side. Like, oh crap, what's gonna happen next? Didn't make me cry, but it got me emotional. But it was such a good. It movie is it was amazing it was non-stop so it, there was not one point that i didn't say okay let me put it on pause or let me go you know let me just do something else while i'm watching it had me engaged the entire time i was watching for three hours long i mean come on it nine out of ten the music incredible i amazing. i loved the music amazing it was it was something else something i haven't experienced in like a musical type yeah. of movie before now, I'm not saying this is gonna be my next yeah. favorite musical or anything, but <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, definitely, you need to watch it if you haven't already. It's on Netflix. Just type in R R R R R. Watch it, and then you'll be on this podcast saying it was amazing, legit amazing. Yeah, best, really good. Yeah. So, and Ernie, did, Ernie just talked about it. He didn't even tell me to go watch it. I just. I think I was. I talked uh, about it. I didn't like who's gonna watch it. Nobody like right. One person watched it, and he's on the show. Right. Yeah. Like, watch it. Watch it. It's good stuff. It is. I totally forgot. Oh, there was another movie I was gonna bring up. So we went from Heroes. Oh, The Rookie. Yeah. So I finished all five seasons. I don't even know what that is. It's a TV show oh, on Hulu. Anyways, I finished all five seasons. Like, Two weeks, three weeks. Such a good show. I watched. I watched R R R. You've been talking Look, about. I watched R R R. You need to watch the rookie. <laughs> okay, so it's been I've, three weeks now. So I had Hulu. Yes. I watch. There's two shows I watch on Hulu. One is um, Murderers in the Building. Selena Gomez. I think it's called Murderers in the Building. Never heard of it. Really good show. I watched season one. Selena Gomez, um, fantastic show. Uh, the other guy with the white haired guy, comedian, Pink Pan. He's on Pink Panther, whatever. Um, and then the other guy, I don't like. I do not like this actor. I hate this actor. He's on the Santa Claus Three. It's that short. Ernie, you're short. Martin, no, it's not even Martin Short. 
Um, sort of the Eric same. Lloyd, Martin yeah. Short. Martin Short. I guess he is short. Jack Martin Frost. Short. No, Martin Short. Yeah, Jack Frost. He's on the show, and I thought I'd, I, because I don't like him. Like the shows he's on, I was like, uh, he just, mm. but Murders in the Building, I think that's what it's called. Only Murders in the Building. Only Murders in the Building. Season one, fantastic. Fantastic. Selena Gomez, fantastic. But uh, I haven't watched season two. And I used to watch it. I had Hulu for that. And I had Hulu for. <laughs> I swear if you say Keeping Up the Kardashians, I'm going to slap you. I, I don't watch that. Um, it's probably as bad, though. I, uh, what is it with all the people, all the people, yeah, uh, right. Jersey shore. No. Okay. That's just as bad. It's okay. Grey's anatomy. <laughs> all right, folks. So this is going to be the end of the podcast. Uh, thank you all for watching. <sighs> I've watched every episode of Grey's anatomy. Oh my God. It's, it's gone off like 35 seasons or whatever it is now. So Honestly, you've watched <laughs> 35 seasons. Well, of okay. 35. I was being, in case you don't, you didn't catch that. I was being no, a little no, like, no, 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 I, like, I no, there's like it. 18 or so. Let's see. Let's find out. 18. Grey's Anatomy series. 19 seasons. 19. So. Oh. Hulu will air the new episodes like a day after or whatever that they come up. So I'm caught up to 18. <laughs> I canceled Hulu because I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't need this. Oh, it looks like they don't have anything before 19. Yeah. So don't know. 18 is the last season I watched. And then I canceled Hulu. God. So I can't watch your The Rookie. Um, Why don't you just get the Disney Plus Hulu? I have Disney Plus. Just pay the extra, what? 10 bucks and you get Hulu and Disney plus speaking of this is brought to you by what's that service that says if you have episodes like stuff you pay for and you haven't canceled. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> I always hear it on podcast. There's like, uh, <laughs> this multiple. episode watch like quit this. It isn't. <laughs> yeah. Quit this. Quit it's, this. It's, checks you, your, you don't know all these subscriptions you're subscribing to, but you pay us and we'll get them for you and you'll unsubscribe. You'll save $45 on average a month. No, I'm just kidding. I see that. I hear that all the time. But, <laughs> but really, if you want to. If you do want to sponsor us, <laughs> um, message us directly. Quit This is a really good name, though. Honestly, I just Qu yeah. quit this. Quit This. Yeah. Use like, that for a lot of stuff. Quit This, yeah. Yeah. I was, I got Sorry. Little, I was thinking of some stuff I you was, could and use. I got that. a little serious. I was like, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, wait, hold on. I, Got to remember the audience. Remember yeah. who's who's watching. Yeah. So yeah, so I don't have Hulu. If you wanna, don't share yeah. your account with people because that's not ethical. But it's <laughs> it is. It's totally me. ethical. <laughs> Sharing your account, okay. <laughs> Sharing your account <laughs> is ethical. That is okay. That is stealing. What? Okay, okay. So what if you share your account but people pay to help? So that's something different. You're stealing. I don't know. I use your accounts. I yeah, use I my parents' accounts. Um, I use a lot of other people's like, accounts. I look at who logged into my Netflix and I'm like, I don't know anybody in Zimbabwe. Right? Like, hey, sorry. I you think. know? It's like, but whatever. I posted your uh, login stuff on a Reddit forum. <laughs> but honestly, this year, Netflix is supposed to be cutting that off. They're going to lose so many people if they do, though. Or they'll gain so many people. I don't know. I feel like look. I I, I, I so I uh, share my account. No. I Shut, share my no, account no, with eat, my mom. Yo, oh, eat, okay, shh, good. Shh, shh. I think Netflix will lose so many people by stopping the password sharing stuff. So many people are on it. The reason why they have the millions of people watching all the time is because of the password sharing. It's not because oh. This person has an account. This person pays for a subscription. This person pays for a subscription. It's because multiple people are on one account sharing the password. But if you watched, so for example, I'm right now I'm watching. Blue, I, can't, I can't remember uh, the. So as I mentioned last Blind date week, one. a couple days. No, I I watch stupid stuff on Netflix. I will admit I watch the dumbest stuff, but I'm watching that show where. 
the airplane disappears for like five years. They come back all of a sudden and they're like, oh, like we're back. And they're like, oh, um, it starts with the M, but whatever. If I was sharing a password with somebody, all right, now I'm on season like two. If they said, hey, Ernie, Netflix is going to cancel this right now. Like I would be like, I'm on season two. I need to like keep going. So I'd subscribe to Netflix. So Netflix. Manifest? Manifest. Okay. Yeah. I watch Manifest. I just, I pick a random show and I'll watch it. Like whatever. Manifest. Oh. 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 So. <laughs> Sorry. I'll... If I was sharing your password. Right. And it cut me off. And I was only on season two of Manifest. I'd be like, oh, heck no. And I'd subscribe to Netflix. I don't know. I No, no. I know. I, I would. Oh, you would. So that's one person. You would too. If you're in the middle of a. No, because I would just find your password, somebody else's password. Yeah, but they're, it's password. They're cutting that off. They're saying. So in case you don't know. Yes. Ernie's going to. Netflix the, is the saying. Is going to give us a. Netflix rundown. is saying, okay, Ernie, you need. This is what they're doing. You need to pick your home. Like, where is your house? And they said, okay, my house is in Salida. You have to do this. There's no option. Okay. We now see there's somebody in Modesto that's using your account. They're cut off. Cut. No more. You can't access my account. That's so dumb. No, that's Rippin. Someone in Rippin is using my account right now. <laughs> right. Someone from maybe in Manteca. I think maybe. somebody in Sacramento <laughs> is using your account. Right. So they're like, no, Ernie's home is Salida. And he needs to check in every, I think it's 90 days, 39, 60 or 90 days. I'd have to tell, like, go check in. Like, it doesn't work. I'd have to set up a VPN, set up a VPN in Sacramento, which a VPN is just saying, okay, the computer in Sacramento is connected <laughs> actually in Salida. Right. It's, it's too much work. So yeah. now I'm going to say to you, go buy your own account. I'm going to say to the Sacramento people, Go get your own account. Like, there's no way around it. And I will switch to just a regular s- streaming service. That but you missed that. episode seasons well, four, five, and six. I mean, manifest. Ah, it's fine with me though. No, it's not. I, I on Netflix, I literally rewatch everything I've yes. already seen. But that's the great thing. You just rewatch. I go to is, Netflix, is Friends on Netflix? Well, I can go to Hulu. No, I can go Friends to Peacock. On though. Friends is on where? Uh, Peacock. 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 Okay. No, HBO. HBO. Or now, Max. Max. Mm. I don't know why they took the HBO. Never. They partnered with somebody. Discovery. Anyways, but I don't know. Like for me, so if I'm going to my. Okay, when it cuts you off, don't come crying to me. Okay. So like community, just rewatching that over and over. The Magicians, I've seen it. RRR, Shameless. But you know how. Arrow, The Flash. When I'm cleaning or doing something, I'll put on. YouTube. Like community. Play. Yeah. All day it's just playing and I'm just yeah, here. I do that same you're not going to be able to, though. What are you going to do? Go to the office. That's Peacock. I have Peacock, and I just oh. put on the office. Oh, you pay for something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's surprising. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, no, it comes free with our uh, internet service, Xfinity. Xfinity is garbage. It is. It is. It is garbage. It is garbage. Whatever Ernie but has. But if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> 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 or what, what are you running for your Wi-Fi? AT&T Fiber. 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 Oh, my God. Fiber. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, gig up and down. It's expensive though. Bala. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's not expensive. It's not compared yeah. to Xfinity. It's the same. I'm paying one twelve. I'm paying less. Wow. Yeah. And I, I have a gig too. I have a gig up and a gig no, down. No, you don't have a gig. Up. No. Then what do I have? Because you're crying last two two episodes ago. Oh, two episodes like, ago. Oh, I'm uploading and it's taking forever. Well, and then you I said, "Oh, I come to Ernie's and I like upload and, and then yeah, upload cause, and cause download." Look what, look what you have going on at your house. You Downlo- have no one else <laughs> no. here. You have no one else here. That you have like an eighty year old. What you yeah, doing? And uploading a, and a bunch of YouTube? kids that come over. No. They take up my bandwidth, on man. YouTube, Roblox. Yes, YouTube. Yeah. They're streaming the basketball game. They're doing oh, whatever. Man. <laughs> Whoa. Anyways, back to the original question. The original question. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, superpowers. Superpowers was the original question. And then it went to you saying you would teleport. Teleport. Yes. That's, that's teleportation. Nine out of ten people teleport. Teleportation. Ah, I, I mean, that. flying would be cool, but why fly when I can be there like I'm true. Not, true. True, 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 true. I'm true, there true. now. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm at your mom. <laughs> Not your mom's, your mom's my sister. <laughs> His mom is my sister. So no. Not at your mom's. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> what's up? Uh I have I have an answer that's out there. And I know Ernie's gonna be like, oh you're so stupid. Oh you can such a stupid superpower. First of all, I don't talk like that. <laughs> no. I'm like, that's a stupid no, superpower. That's a super super power. I can't I can't believe you would choose that. Um <laughs> so I would have the powers of Spider Man. Super strength, agility, and then spider sense. And then I would probably I would probably do Spider Sense. I would probably okay, do well, well, what spider sense? Spider sense is the sixth sense for like danger stuff, you know. Oh yeah. When it, have you ever in your life been in danger? I don't know. Exactly. Gee. You never know. It'd just be a good sixth sense. Okay, of all spiders. Of, of, of all, all spiders. Superhero, do you want spider sense? I would want to be in Spider-Man. Case someone yeah. wants a, a baseball's coming at me. Ooh, wow, I dodged a baseball. Yeah, I'd rather dodge a baseball than get hit in the face because you're teleport? slow. <laughs> You wouldn't be able to teleport in time. That's a no, because you would see it and it'd be right in your face no. already. Okay, I'm going to hit you. The ball. I don't care. No, okay. Oh. How fast do baseballs go? Hold on. No, we're doing, we're doing. Well, 102, 101 is really high. You know, that's good. Over 100 is good for MLB. I rolled this Chapman. Yeah, so 90, 90 plus miles an hour. So a 90 plus mile an hour baseball heading straight for your head. Yeah, I would rather have a spider sense to be like, oh, let me dodge okay. that really quick <laughs> than for me to get smacked in the when face. When was the last time a 90-mile baseball has gone into your head? Uh, at a baseball game? It, has it ever? A long time ago. You're such a freaking liar. <laughs> when I played Little League, it, it did. That's like 30 miles an hour. Still, it hurt. That's the dumbest thing. Spider-Man? Okay, I get it. Spider-Man's probably the most popular superhero. Dude, Spider-Man is amazing. You know, you just want to He's be upside down, kissing a girl and thinking she pulled down your mask like this way. Hey, you know what? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, too. I, that's all you I want. would accept that. I would accept that. That's it. I'd allow it. Yeah. yeah, that's super strength, though. I would love to have super strength. Agility, speed, being able to jump super high. Yeah. Those are oh my specific gosh. abilities you can I'm use. Tr- I'm gone. I'm in Tokyo. See, but people, Atlanta. see, but people will be able to see your face. I'm in people will be able to see you. <laughs> I don't you. have to do this. <laughs> I don't know why you're freaking. <laughs> Anyways, Spider-Man powers. Okay. I just or, killed you. or, or, no, you did not. What do you, what, you really, you're going to try to tell you teleport behind me. My spider sense lets me know, oh, he's behind me. No. And I get out of the way. Yes. Too fast. No, you're not too no. fast. No. That's weak. Ernie, you wouldn't kill. I would do teleport. Spider sense, it wouldn't even be in my top five. Be like invisibility. <laughs> then you're walking around with what? I'm just like, what's up? Dude? What's up? Guys? And Nobody can see t-shirt me. floating. <laughs> and I could just like walk into like wherever I want to go and just grab, it. <laughs> grab whatever I want to grab. Money and then it and shows and, and then money's floating and people no. are wondering what the heck's going on. Okay. First of all, that's not how it works. Well, it depends. Anything I touch, if I was invisible, I would touch this deck. It's invisible. Physics, come on. It depends. No, it there. doesn't depend. Okay, you want to talk? So let's talk invisibility. This then. knife so, is invisible. So let's talk. Now. Let's talk invisibility. So, um, no, you lost. Invisible woman from Fantastic Four. I don't even know if that's her real name. Is it an invisible woman? Whatever. Fantastic Four. Mister Fantastic's wife. Whatever. When she turns invisible, her clothing and everything does not turn invisible with her. That's dumb. So she has to get naked. Yeah, she has to get that's naked. Dumb. Yeah, I, that's. They had to make a specific polymer type of clothing for that to turn invisible with her. That's weak. Yeah, so invisibility is not the way to go. Not in that now, case, no. Wolverine's powers, the ability to regenerate and not die. I would love that too. Never die. Never die. Never die. Never die. I mean, think about it. Yeah, I get it. You, you'll probably see all your loved ones pass away and then the new loved ones you make and then have more families and then see all of them pass away. But I just, I wouldn't mind being able to live forever. No. 
I think I'd be living okay. forever. If someone said, okay, you'll never die. I think at some point you would want to die. I think at some point you would. Exactly. But I'd still want to live forever. Like I would still choose. Yeah, let me live forever. I think you would go through so much. It would like if you're being like if you're putting a serious twist on this, like seriously, if you're no, going yeah, to live so, forever. So if you were immortal, if you're you, going to live forever. Yeah. So immortal. I think you would go through so much. At some point you would literally drive yourself in. You'd be insane. But what if you were to get over that point? I think it's possible. There's you people would legit go through so much pain, like emotionally. Right. So much loss, so much of everything that I think you would drive yourself to a point where you mentally, you couldn't handle it all. And your mind would just be, you'd go insane. And or there is no or. <laughs> or you create an empire. Start off small. You're immortal. No. You have years to perfect. I think just seeing all your, your all of your friends. This is where you would be one of those people who are so isolated. But you make new friends. Because you don't want to make friends because you're going to lose your friends. Mm, so you sure. isolate yourself So to the point where you're just alone and lonely because you don't want to. You find someone you fall in love with, you know they're going to die before you and you're never going to like live the rest of your life. Right. Nope, take me now. Boop, take me. I don't I would no. want to try it though. I, I would I would still There's no try. You either live forever or you don't. Oh, I'd still want to live forever. I think that'd no. I'd die I, I'd I'd choose to actually die. That's like weird, right? Is that weird? Is that a little true? bit. But I mean I think I think there is a slight percentage of people who would be like me and say, no, I'd rather I choose to live. And I think if you actually thought about it, there'd be more people who'd be like, no, I think I'd rather. Right. It sounds cool. It does sound cool, Different. but you would have to understand that. Yes, you may go through some may, mental health yeah, issue. Will. Eventually. I don't know how many centuries it's going to really take. It's going to take five years. Will it though? <laughs> no. I don't think it will. I, it'll take, a, it'll take a long time. I think, yeah, it'll take a long time, but with the sooner I leave this earth, the sooner I get to be, in oh heaven God. with everything. <laughs> Jeez, Ernie. That's Ernie Espinosa, everybody. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my bad. That's Flismo, everybody. <laughs> no, if it's, this world if it's is not my home. I'm just mortality. passing through. <laughs> Where's Mark when you're going to be like, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> but no, I probably wouldn't choose to be live forever. Oh, let us know. Would you choose to be immortal? Yes or no down in the comments. No. What superpower would you want? If you think about it, though, you're not going to choose to live forever. You may not, but I will. Oh, so then this brings <laughs> another good question. Holy crap, that camera has not been recording for like the last X amount of time. <laughs> Well, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. So this guy's an idiot. <laughs> it's not funny. It's hilarious. There are people who are like, yes, really sad I, right now. I am sorry, but I did not see. I was not. This was such a good conversation we were having that I did not realize the time limit went over for me to restart the camera. Sony cameras used to be. I don't know if they're still like this, but thirty-minute time. Yeah, Trash. so if you do Throw them in the garden. want to uh, help us fix these issues, we would greatly appreciate if there are any sponsors out there <laughs> who want to help us buy new equipment so we can keep bringing this type of great content to you wherever you're at on this YouTube. Is great content? This is amazing content. But, um, <laughs> so I, don't, I forgot where we left off, but I know it was superpower or something or something. But, um, where did we leave off? <laughs> well, I do know what my next question is. Still around this whole superhero What's your thing. Next question? Would you be a superhero or a supervillain? I would 
Honestly, if I could like teleport right now, that's my power. I teleport. It's like, boom, I'm at your girlfriend's house. Boom, I'm at Yo, it's still steamy. Look at this one. It's still steamy. Um, I would be a vigilante. Ooh. Middle of the road. Like, Ooh, okay. I would do good in my eyes, mm-hmm. but the law probably wouldn't look at it that way. If that makes sense. No, yeah. So like vigilant. So well, uh, I think the two vigilantes that come, well, I mean, aren't most superheroes vigilantes? Uh, I guess, yeah. but people I, will look at like Batman and be like, yeah, oh, Batman would be more. He does good. Spider-Man, there's been, a, you, you know, whatever movie you're watching, they're like, oh, he's a bad person. He's, you know, so it just I goes think, back and forth. I think Batman and the Green Arrow would probably be more vigilante than anything. They they take things into their own hands rather than waiting for the city to call for help or anything like that. Yeah. Still good? Still good, man. <laughs> so I'm going to be 100% honest. And I've talked to people about this before, too. 100% would be a villain. I just, I just, I just know it would be some type of something, something would snap and I'd be like, you know what? No, you're done. And I was just going on a villainous rampage and I'd have to kill you. You could try. You would not be able to kill me. You're like, Oh, I got you. I'm done. No, I would, I would, I would hold you up. Well, have to do is go. If, if I have, if I have Spider-Man powers, I would do what Spider-Man did to Kingpin and just shoot webs down your throat until you suffocate. Like, uh, I'm in Tokyo now. You still have freaking web fluid down your throat, yeah, man. You're choking. Like, <laughs> but no, serious terms, like. Yeah, serious. Re- re- We're talking about superhero powers. Yeah, serious terms now. Go ahead. Yeah. I would probably, I, w- I would choose to be a villain. Yeah, I get that. I see that. Yeah. And if you do know me, you'd probably agree with Ernie and say, yeah, you know, I can, I can see that happening. Am I proud of it? A little bit. Looking at your plate, there's a lot of rice. Note to self. Cut down on the rice. A lot of rice is a... But it's good rice, but still, it's good. Let me try another one of these. Fog of the sea. Get some of the stuff on it. Look, oh, I just heard somebody say they want to see you eat, eat that with a little bit of the... Sushi bake in it. Eat the sushi Not bake. Bad. Eat the sushi bake. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Anyways. Good, huh? Amazing. So, we had a few of you write into us over the last couple of weeks asking us some questions to answer. Top two favorite foods. Pizza. Of course, everyone's like, oh, you like pizza. So does everybody else. But the thing with pizza, I'm going to have to make pizza one of these days with the pizza maker. The thing with pizza is you can make it to whatever you want it to be. That's why I like pizza. Hmm. That's why I like making pizza. Pizza party, everyone makes their own, puts their own toppings on it and everything. From anchovies to mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, chicken, um, pepperoni, anything you want. You can make your own pizza. That's why I like pizza. It's so versatile. You can do whatever you want to it. You know, mm-hmm. you can mix it up. Oh, pineapple. Oh, pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Whatever. If you want pineapple on pizza, eat pineapple on pizza. I don't care. Pineapple does whatever makes you happy. Pizza. Not really, but if you like pineapple on pizza, go ahead, knock yourself out. Does pineapple belong on pizza? So I hate that question. 
I don't know how many times I hear I see that question. So let's rewind to whatever back. So yes, I've used what? When did this come? When was like? Because I know that was a huge thing like a couple years ago, right? So no, it's still a thing for certain people, and it, it's like really, like so. I've used dating apps, re- not recently, but you know whatever. And the ones that say, "Oh, does pineapple belong on pizza?" There's still people that like put that, and I'm just like. It, it for some reason it just kind of like irks me. It's like who cares? Like all the things you could say, and you want to put this pineapple belong on pizza. I just think it's like the weirdest. Like do whatever. Like if you like pineapple on pizza, knock yourself out. Right. I don't. I don't see why it's such a big deal. I don't. Like I, it doesn't make any sense. And I think that's why I don't like it so much. I don't like that question. That's why I don't is people ask it just to ask it just to be part of that conversation. Right. It's like that conversation ended years ago. I was asking (laughs) authentically asking, (laughs) but no, I get it. Conversation ended years ago, dude. And people are still asking, Oh, does pineapple belong on pizza? Like anchovies belong on pizza. You want to put oranges on pizza? Knock yourself out. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. What? Cream cheese and pizza. It's cheese. But so I've got seaweed stuck in my tooth. Anyway, so <laughs> so those Tostino Tostino pizza rolls. Somebody introduced me to the idea of getting those and dipping them in cream cheese. And so I was like, oh, well, it tastes good, you know, on a pizza roll. Let me try an actual pizza. Super good. If you haven't tried it, oh, it's disgusting. Do You can go to a pizza place and say, I want cream cheese? I don't know if you can. I did it myself. Oh. Sorry. I ordered like Mountain Mike's or whatever. And I put slices of. Oh, you're on your own. On my own. Okay. Well, that's different. Yes, but who's going to come home and be like, hey, let me put cream cheese I, again, on my pizza and throw again, it in the I, oven to I, melt it. I am somebody who does a lot of different things, though, uh, or likes a, diff- a lot of different things. Like my favorite pizza, you'll never guess what my favorite topping of or favorite topping slash kind of pizza is. Uh, you get three guesses. Favorite topping? Favorite topping slash kind. It's one in the same so it's like oh let me get a pineapple pizza so you get pineapple on the pizza you get a barbecue chicken pizza no 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 you get a meat lovers pizza no but i do get meat lovers all the time you like meat <laughs> yes understandable um pepperoni no that's three Peanut butter. Peanut butter pizza okay. from John's Incredible That doesn't pizza. count. It does count. It doesn't count. That counts. You can have them deliver it to your house? I can go pick it up. It's down the street from my house. So The lunch buffet is freaking like 12 bucks. Like when John's Incredible Pizza first opened, how long ago was that? You were like two. I probably was. It was like 20 years ago, 24 years ago. I remember them, that was what, oh, people were like, oh, they have pineapple or pepper, uh, peanut butter pizza. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. And I think I've tried it. But it was more of like, ooh, look at them. They have peanut butter pizza. It wasn't like a legitimate. It doesn't count. So you're I think traveling somewhere else. You're near somewhere else. You're not going to tell a pizza place, can I have peanut butter on it? They're going to look at you like, you're an idiot. Um, They can look at me however they want. They're not going to do it for you. Dude, how do I find out when this freaking place was it open? It doesn't matter. Your choice is a fail. You're a fail. Because I bet you, I guarantee you there's going to be someone out there that's like, oh, yeah, I love that John's oh. Incredible Pizza peanut butter pizza and i'm gonna say yeah that's ridiculous you're my new friend 
Wow. No, it's ridiculous. What's your favorite kind of pizza, Ben? All right, pepperoni, favorite okay. pizza spot. No, my favorite kind of pizza, pepperoni and jalapeno. Okay, it's a little basic. go, I want pepperoni and jalapeno. It's a little basic. It's not basic. It's basic. Pepperoni and jalapeno. Basic. Basic bitch. <laughs> pepperoni and jalapeno, and I've been ordering that for years. My go-to. Want one piece of pepperoni and jalapeno. Who serves that? Everywhere, bro, dude. Everywhere. No matter where you go, they'll make you pepperoni and jalapeno. Hmm. And it's good. I will say, see, but that's the thing. Usually if I go, so if I order from anywhere, it's a meat lovers or all meat or something mountain meat, whatever, (laughs) from wherever, except for one place, Medici's, is it stone fire pizza? Oh, look at that. Look at Ernie's judgmental face already saying, no, wow, no. of course he would get something from no, Medici's. that place is good. I, I don't mind that place. That place is fine. They have like the devil's something pizza. It's the spicy one. Yeah, I get the eggs and bacon. The devil's pizza at Medici's is the spicy. The it's eggs good. and bacon, though, is amazing. Nice bubbly egg in the middle, pieces of bacon with their chili oil or whatever. Oof. Not bad. 10 out of 10. Mm, eight out of 10. 10 out of 10. You can't give, 10 a, you can't give a chain. Out of, 10. A 10 out of 10. Why not? 9.9 9 okay. out of 10. As long as it's not a 10. 9.9 9 out of 10. I don't know what 10 out of 10 is, honestly, myself. Not Food, pizza, anything. I don't think I've ever had a place where it's like, well... No, I've had a certain meal that's 10 out of 10, but I don't think I've ever had a place that's like, this place is a 10 out of 10. No, I haven't had that place yet. I will find that place. You haven't? Oh. You can't tell me right now you've found a place that's a 10 out of 10. No. Not a meal, not a pizza, not a, you know, a place. This place is 10 out of 10. You're right. You're right. I don't, I don't think I have. I know I've rated a lot of things. I need to start keeping track of my ratings for stuff. Like I should just keep a book of ratings, but I don't think I've done a 10 out of 10 just yet. Hmm. 10 out of 10. (laughs) A 10 out of 10 would be Maria's taco shop. It's over 24 hours. They have the best nachos in the city of Modesto. And their horchata is to die for. <laughs> Maria's taco shop. <laughs> that place is trash. Hey, it's still open compared to yours and Mark's from last podcast, so. Oh, yeah, I did mention my place was. Yes. But no, Maria's taco shop is. Six at best. Seven. I had menu menu there months, a couple months ago, with my dad and my your mom, my sister. Oh wow! And they were like, "Oh, the menu was good here," and I'm just like, "It tastes like feet." <laughs> no, I don't know what feet taste like. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Look it at just that. Tastes like I'm like, what is this? Like, if feet had a taste, this would be it. So their menu, though. Ernie's just uncultured. He doesn't eat a lot of Mexican food. I know what good food tastes like, and that's not it. I don't know. You haven't eaten any of your own food, so how would you know what good food tastes like? Well, that's nice. I know. I I said that had to say, like, that came out weird, but yeah. Sure. You're you're welcome. Eat your damn food. I will. Notice how I just got the fish part now and not Mm -hmm. rice because there's just too much rice.
Speak into your microphone. It's not bad. It's good. It's actually really good. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Wow. Ernie ate his own food for the very first time. I was starving. And he caught it on camera. Yeah. You didn't catch it on camera. Dude, I've been recording this whole time. Yeah, yeah. That's good, though. That's not bad. I would eat more. But I don't want to. You're such a liar. It's good, though. It's just because the camera's on and that's why. No, it's on. Welcome back to Hungry and Bored. <laughs> I'm Flismo, your host for the day. All right, Mark. Whoa. I mean, Flismo. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry, you just sounded like somebody else I know. Who we kicked off. Everyone's like cheering right now. <laughs> oh my God, where's Mark? Uh, sorry, this is a special edition of Hungry and Bored. Yeah. Dude, you're going to like ruin. I'm not. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. All right, so Ernie's going to take over being host this last half of Hungry and Bored. Since Hi, insist- I'm Nate. Oh, uh. <laughs> No, no, that's your <laughs> voice. Go ahead. Is this flute bone? <laughs> Hi, guys. I don't like to eat my own food. You know? I, I love to eat my own food. Actually, just we it. just got video of him eating his own food. I just eat while I'm cooking. Except for today, because he said he was starving. We got video. Oh, speaking of, of food, what I did eat. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I have it down here. I forgot it was down here. Oh, shoot. Okay. okay. Sorry, surprise! For the noise. McDonald's. Uh, I don't know if anybody, anybody, if you haven't watched the last episode, let me know. Don't let me know. Just go watch it. But I have something really amazing. Big Mac sauce. Dun dun dun. Ooh, two Big Mac sauces. Dun dun dun. Big Mac sauce. Okay. Fifty dollars a packet. So if you want it. DM us. Thousand Island in a packet. Um, like I like I mentioned, you can get it right now. I think I think you still have to do it through the app. But if you do it through the app, you get so there's a twenty piece nugget. Nate ate ten, so there's ten left. I ate. I didn't eat any. Yeah, you did. You had no, one. I didn't. You like one nine. Nugget. Okay, <laughs> ten piece nugget. You can get up to three Nuggets sauces with it, and I chose Big Mac sauce. There you Crazy. Go. Big Mac sauce. Big Mac sauce. I do like the the packaging. It's different than the other uh, the other sauces. Except it's. I think it's only why I mentioned that like the second time you could get Big Mac sauce without a Big Mac. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, because I know uh, last week's episode we mentioned that there was one 2016, I believe it was. That 17. Sold. 17? I thought it was 16. Whatever. Sold for almost a hundred grand. Listed, listed for hundred grand. Ooh. Sold for around ninety thousand. Dang. That's good. Hand me a nugget, please. I thought you grabbed. I, that, I was grabbing a nugget. So it's big. It's Big Mac sauce. All right. How do you dunk your nuggets? Do you just? You don't wait. Oh, there is speciality to it. So either you're the dunk and scoop, you can just dunk it. You can dunk and kind of jiggle it around, make sure it gets to the higher dunk and scoop. Dunk and scoop. You gotta like dunk it and kind of like and scoop a big chunk out. And then there's like oh, there's like excess, so you gotta clean it up. Mmm, Big Mac sauce. Run, don't walk. Pretty good. Go get it. Big Mac sauce. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. I've never... So I think I've only eaten a Big Mac maybe less than 10 times in my life. Not a huge Big Mac fan. I'm a McChicken fan. Like even McCrispy. McCrispy? What the heck is McCrispy? Didn't they change it to McCrispy? No, there's no McChicken. There's McChicken. No, they changed it to McChicken. McCr- McChicken. No, you're McDumb. 
You're a McStupid. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a McCrispy, oh, which is their chicken sandwich. No. They changed the name, like, just like a few weeks ago. No, it's McChicken. No, it's McCrispy. I got Big Mac sauce on my freaking... It's McCrispy because I was in there. I... I was ordering this today, and there was a sign that said, the new McCrispy is now the Bacon Ranch McCrispy. Though the chicken sandwich is a, they call it a McCrispy now. No, so we're talking about two different things. You're talking about two different things. This is why we turn to Google. God. Uh, first. Okay, I'll wait. So while the filet recipe is supposedly different, the only noticeable differences between the two sandwiches are the ingredients and price. So the McCrispy has a higher quality patty and is crispier than the original. The McChicken comes with lettuce and mayo for two thirty nine, and the McCrispy comes with pickles for four fifty nine. Dang, for two pickles, it's two dollars more. That's ridiculous. Better chicken or not, that is ridiculous. Two dollars more for pickles. That's bull. Yeah, there are two separate sandwiches. Fool. Wow. Um. Cool. So McChickens, McCrispies. I have to try McCrispy. I don't know. It's a crispy chicken sandwich. Oh my god! Oh, oh. that's it. There's many crispy chicken sandwiches out there, but is it better than McChicken though? That's the that's what you got to test. You got to have a McCrispy and a McChicken, and then you got to test them to see which is better. See, but there's no spicy McCrispies yet, so already the spicy McChicken has an upper hand. Mm. Uh, Ernie doesn't eat McDonald's anyways, except for today. So the the the, McDonald's I've had like a year. Yeah, this is (laughs) way out of his uh, one year scope. One a year, once once a year. Aside from their coffee, I'll have their coffee. I wait for their McRib. I've never had, I don't think I've had their McRib. Neither have I. But their coffee, I will have. Coffee's pretty good. Yeah. It's it's fine. Just black, right? No. So, so I started making coffee at my, so. Dude, this is like the fourth week we brought up your coffee. Ernie makes So the coffee, coffee I make, so the Nespresso Virtuo, whatever they're called. Yeah. Those are literally, you get eight cups of coffee for like $12. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. No. You're paying like a dollar something per cup of coffee. Okay. That's kind so, of plus, so I. So that's good? No, it's not. <laughs> because you, yeah, buy this, not you, you make the coffee, you ice vanilla flavor. So you're buying the vanilla flavor, which I, I have. The milk, so you're mixing it all up, over a dollar thirty per cup, right? That's why you drink it black. <laughs> no, you don't drink it black. Every day on the app, McDonald's has ninety nine cents large, whether it's sugar free or not. I'll get sugar free vanilla iced coffee. I can go to McDonald's every single day and get the same thing I make here for twenty five cents or thirty cents less. So it's not. It's more expensive than buying at McDonald's. It's not more expensive than buying at like but does Starbucks. It taste it tastes decent. It's fine. Better McDonald's is fine. McDonald's coffee is good. I mean, it's it's decent. It's not my go-to. Would I have it if somebody offered me? Yeah, sure. Mm. But I think my go-to coffee. Oh, dude, that's a good question. Go-to coffee spot. So. Th- Okay, so as much as I love coffee, there's not many coffee spots that I go to around Modesto. Freaking chicken nuggets on my you cards. You have chicken nuggets on your cards. You dropped it. Go ahead. Keep talking. You're going so to there's coffee. preservation. Austin's Coffee, that's my new coffee shop that I've been going to, which is in Ripon. So if you haven't been to Austin's Coffee, that place is nice. Um. But no, I usually, whenever I go to a coffee shop, I usually just get black coffee. I never, the only time I really get anything with creamer in it is here at your house. So. It's milk. Milk. Anyways, Austin's Coffee. 
amazing. But all the coffee shops close so early, which to me is like the worst thing. Starbucks. In the world. Yeah. But st- yeah. Well, just because Starbucks can afford to stay open late. I guess these other coffee shops can't. But I would like if if I were into the uh, the business owning of like a coffee shop or something like that, I think I'd make a I would make a coffee shop that opens when everything else closes, and then closes when everything else opens. So like a five p.m. to what? Five four a.m. Five a.m. Five to four a.m. Let me know what you guys think. Is that you'll lose? You'll lose. <laughs> You know how many college students are up that late studying, needing to find work or a place to work? If I, if I had the opportunity to go to a coffee shop at 2 in the morning, I would love that. But I can't. Mm. Ernie doesn't know because he doesn't go to school. I don't go to school. School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> Uh, sure, Ernie. Whatever, uh, whatever helps you <laughs> sleep at night. Yeah. But speaking of businesses, businesses. Yeah. So if you were rich, let's say you're a millionaire, multimillionaire, right? And you had the opportunity to change your name. What would it be? Do I have to change my name? Mm, yes. I have to. You're being put into, what is it? <laughs> Your teleportation failed on you. You got stuck in a safe and the person you were hired is trying to, or who hired you to steal is now trying to kill you. So you got put into witness protection. Witness protection. And so now you're this multimillionaire in witness protection. What would your name be? Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's a tough question. It really is. I don't even know what my name would be. You'd go with something that's already been done, right? I mean Would you though? I mean you wouldn't want anything to make you stand out. That's true. I can't pick like Marty McFly. Right. No. And you could I mean you're a multi man, you can choose whatever name you want. Mm. Like I know I had a name. Actually, the person who actually asked this question, um, his sister and her husband, they all gave me this name. I can't remember what the name was, but if I were to move to like Sacramento permanently, you move, can't remember the name. No, we only said it up and you can't remember. Yes, but I want them to watch it and put it in the comments so it can be brought. Oh, up I think later. they said dumb guy. Wait, no. <laughs> Dummy. No, they said Ernie superior. <laughs> Ernie's would be micro. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. I would be Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer? Why? You don't know who Jack Bauer is? I know who Jack Bauer is. Who's Jack Bauer? I don't know. (laughs) I know know. the name, but nothing's coming to mind. What do you mean you know the name? Yeah. So, like, I know names. I hear names. What's the name, Jack Bauer? Jack Bauer. Like, I know of the name. I've what do heard you it. know of the name? Jack Bauer, Jack Bauer. Give me a second. You're not going to touch your computer. Either. No, I'm not. So Jack Bauer. Wait, no. I need to guess this. Don't you say a freaking word. <laughs> You're not going to get it. I know I won't get it. Jack Bauer. That's like a cool name. What's your name, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> What's your last name? Me off? <laughs> it's good, <lady. laughs> Jack Bauer, dude. I know, I know the name. I just don't know where from. Jack Bauer. You've mentioned him before. One of my favorite shows of all time. All time. Ever. There's like someone out there saying... I know. There's 
People are Damn rich. Man. Rich. I guarantee Rich is like, Jack Bauer, how do you not know what oh, Jack Oh, well, Bauer? okay. Richard knows yeah. who Jack Bauer is. Right. Because we, so Richard and I go, we we're resellers on eBay. So we'll go to thrift stores, we'll go to Goodwill, we'll go to yard sales and we'll buy stuff. And we'll resell it on eBay. There is, he got, he bought something. I don't know if it's sold yet, but he bought something. It's a Jack Bauer figure. So he knows who Jack Bauer is. Oh my God. I, I won't ever get who Jack Bauer is. So he does know because he has an action figure, ha, action figure of Jack Bauer. You're, gosh, kids, man. How old, how, how old is this? It's not like, well, I mean, he's, so Jack Bauer, the, the actor is also the voice of Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna know that crap. You don't know? Not Metal Gear. I've not. I've never really played Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid's a video game. PS4. Uh, PS4. PS. Earlier PS4. than that, right? Um, I know. Well, I know he started doing the voice once PS4 hit. Um, Jack Bauer is from the show. Dun dun dun. 24. Yeah, I would not get that either. God. Okay, first of all, <laughs> I need no. to do this show with somebody who's a little bit older. Seriously, dude, it. because <laughs> the thing, the thing, people you know, I definitely do 24. not know. 24 was probably, I mean, the, 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 like every episode is like you have this countdown and it's this time going. Jeez. 24, Jack Bauer. Yeah, I pulled it up. Amazing show. Everything was on like this timer, 24 hours. Every episode was an hour, and every season was like, I don't know if I want to say 24 episodes, but 24 hours. So it was like a real-time clock that's running down, and they're trying to figure out like, oh, who's the terrorist? Amazing show. It's unfortunate that it's no longer on the air, but Jack Bauer, 24. Kiefer Sutherland. Wait a second. And he's the voice of Solid Snake on Metal Gear Solid 5 PS4. I'll wait till he kind of catches up. Sorry. No, that's all. Okay. He catches up because, you know, he's got to look it up. And I'm like, it's all right here. Call of Duty. He was one of the characters in Call of Duty during the zombies. He was. I think so. That's the only, that would be the only connection for me. Yeah. But 24, wow. Kiefer Sutherland, Jack Bauer. I'd be like, Kiefer Sutherland, yeah. where did Jack Bauer move to? And that'd be me because that's my new name, Jack Bauer. Yeah, I know nothing about Jack Bauer. Just Call of Duty. It, that would be the closest tie for me is Call of Duty. Jack Bauer, that's my name. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain, Venom Snake. Kiefer Sutherland. Twin Peaks. Zoolander. Oh, Zoolander. Zoolander is hilarious. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's see. So when I run into you next time, say, hey, Keith, Jack Bauer. I'm like, hey, what's up? What would yours be? First I name have, Jiggly, last name Puff. Hey, Jigglypuff's legit. I, I wouldn't mind Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I have... You look like a. Careful with what you say. <laughs> no. Be careful with what you say. I'd be like, you look like a Juan Dominguez. Oh, Juan Dominguez. <laughs> you told me your name was Juan Dominguez. I'd be like, no. what's up, Juan? Heck no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Juan Dominguez. No, I do not look like a Juan Dominguez. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Maybe a Juan Direction. No. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Juan Dominguez. Juan Dominguez. Yeah. To put in the comments. Jack Bauer, that's Juan Dominguez. <laughs> oh, with Juan Hungry Dominguez. and Bored, B-O-A-R-D. <laughs> yeah. uh, Juan Dominguez. All right. Yeah. We'll stick with it. Yeah. What we should do is in the next one, yeah. we should enter, we should start it off with that and just look at Mark and he's like, what the hell is Juan going Dominguez on? and Jack Bauer. Oh, Juan Dominguez and Jack Bauer. Yeah. Very nice. My video games go. Top five video games of all time. Of all time. 
Zelda, the first one NES. Not in any particular order. The Last of Us. Which one? One or two? One. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I always go back to Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Ooh. That is a forgotten. Sands of Time. That is a very, that is forgotten game. That is nostalgia, whatever you want to call it. That's it. Um, Zelda, A Link to the Past. Okay, that's four. And fifth one. My Little Pony, right? That's probably six. Oh, okay. Yeah. So five, top five. I'm missing one. Um, God of War. Which God of War? There's six of them. The, f- the 2018 PS4. Okay. Wow, interesting. Yeah. What about you? learn a lot from somebody's top five video games you could you could learn a lot but every person's different i would go off nostalgia like my mindset during the time playing it you know whatever it is so and this was another question that was asked by one of our followers um so i'm just keeping track of the time and making sure but i went in excruciating depth you wrote it down (laughs) I was top of my head. I'm just like, boom, there you go. No, don't look. Just tell yeah, me the top yeah. of your head. Yeah. I told you. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking. I'm just showing them. <laughs> These are all the games that come to mind when I think of like top 10, top five video games. Um, but for sure, top two, Pokemon Yellow and Assassin's Creed. The first one that came out in 2007. I know. Okay. I'm looking at this. I can see your third. I could see you. Okay. For sure. Your third. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. And this one is Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2. So I did mine more of nostalgia, but something that I've played more than two times. So Pokemon Yellow, I've played more Meaning than... Meaning you beat them. Beat them, yeah. Beat them, completed them, whatever. Uh, so, so you Pokemon, completed them more than twice. Yeah. Pokemon Yellow, Assassin's Creed, Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2. I'd have to go with The Last of Us. The okay. second one. The second the one. The second one. Wow. That one ripped my heart out and put it back together again multiple times. Um, man. Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Oh, ten that's, that's going to be something day, different. A few days. A yeah. couple days. That's going to that's gonna hurt me even more. But, uh, so that might be on my top five. Who knows? See. Breath of the Wild didn't quite make my top five, but go ahead. Dude, there's just so many to choose from. There's uh, a lot. I'd have to say Spider-Man for the PS4. Okay. That one That's good. That's tore good my heart out, put it back in. But I've beaten that game specifically and all the DLC five times. That is not an exaggeration. Because the Miles Morales one that came out was crap. What what game is Four Naked Guys? I oh, that so one. that was the one that came out specifically for the <laughs> Switch. <laughs> So yeah, that was an exclusive Switch video game. Um, it was only sold to the first 50 people at each GameStop. Got it. Yeah. Nice. It was $69. <laughs> wow. But no, Interesting. Yes, I have an extensive list that... Uh, There's a That's a big list. Soul Silver, Rock Band, Mass Effect Three was Rock a really Band's good. Rock Band's good, really good. Prototype, that's another forgotten game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tony, reason. you're an asshole. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium, Halo Wars One, okay. Uh, God of War Three, God of War, God of War Ragnarok. I've never, I still haven't played God of War Ragnarok. Oh, you're such a loser. Oh, you don't have a PS Five. <laughs> I can lend you mine. No, you won't. Eventually. Yeah, no. A lot of the uh, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. is another good one that's, you know, back in the day. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Mario Kart, no. Never a huge Mario Kart fan. Even when a lot of people, like party games and everything, everyone's like, oh, let's play Mario Kart. Mario just, Kart is good. Uh, it Like you said, though, it's it's a party game. Right. I've had people say, oh, I'm, you want to play Mario Kart? They Always go back to Mario Kart. Just cool. It's Mario Kart's good. Um, but by myself, I don't play a lot of Mario Kart. It's, yeah. it's just. It's, it's not a game for yourself. And I've tried. I, it, I promise. I've tried 
just want to make sure we're recording. I've tried to play Mario Kart by myself. I get bored. There has to yeah, be. Yeah, it's the same over and over and over. So you have to have other people to play right. with. Right. Um, taking that home. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, Mario Kart is just something you can never get into. Now, the one that was a little bit more fun was the DK Racing, I think. Diddy Kong. Diddy, Diddy Kong N64. Racing. Oh, no, what was the one for Diddy Game? Kong Racing was N64. What was the one for GameCube? It didn't ge- exist. Diddy Kong Racing was N64. Okay, so maybe, hold on. F-Zero. You're talking about Mario Kart Double Dash. Is GameCube. Yes, Double Dash. Is GameCube. Double Dash was fun. Double Dash is good. That one I could I could play a little bit more than Super Mario Kart or Mario Kart, yeah. whatever. But no, but no. And I, think, I was a nerd in high school too. I think this game is gonna gonna. I was in band. Scratch that! It you were in band. Yeah. Hold the phone, everybody. Did you play the triangle? The trumpet. You played the trumpet. I only played the trumpet. <laughs> so I went to a yard sale on Saturday. They had a trumpet for sale. And it was an estate sale. So did you get it? No, I did not. Well, so here we, I got there and I was with a friend and he was like, oh, Ernie plays, he used to play trumpet, play something. And the people who were running the estate sale was like, play something, play something. Oh, shoot. And I was like, no, I haven't played since 11th, 10th grade or something. I said, what if it's still that? here, I said, if it's still here, when I get back, we're looking through the, the estate sale, I'll play something for you. Thank God we got back and it was sold. <laughs> so I, didn't, oh, I didn't have shoot. to play something. But <laughs> what would you have played? I don't even know. It's been 20 years since I've booked. I was going to buy it. Everything was 50% off. So it would have cost me like 30 bucks, 25 bucks. Dang. Which I would have bought the trumpet for that much because um, I don't have one. I would have just bought it. It was sold. But. The only song at the top of my head that I could play, it wouldn't have gone with <laughs> anything, but it was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> I was going to play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> they would have like, thought, do, 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 do. <laughs> they would have thought this elegant, just like jazzy yeah, thing was going to come out. be like Chris Bodie and just like, <laughs> do, do, do. No. But, and then it's I'd Rudolph, played Rudolph the Red-Nosed Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> I was going to play Rudolph. So I came out and they're like, oh, we sold it. I was like, oh, I was going to play it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't buy it. They pull out another one. Oh, here we have this one. <laughs> no, they had a flute. I've never played flute. So, oh. <laughs> so yeah, I played trumpet. Nice. Sixth grade to like eleventh grade or tenth grade or something. I was never in band. I was in choir. I did do choir. I did glee choir, um, regular choir, junior high and high school. But <laughs> Julian. So for those of you who don't know, Julian is my brother. Uh, he was in band in junior high i think was it high school one of the two and i remember going to his concert what did he play sax (laughs) (laughs) the triangle that's not even a thing (laughs) he played the triangle i kid you not (laughs) but he just hit the thing (laughs) so so, okay so so no no, listen listen to the story so we went to one of his concerts this was years ago, okay? Me and my I want to say, I think it was my mom. Me and my mom went to his concert. I think Gabe might have been there. I don't know. But we went to a concert, and it was a Christmas concert. So it was the Polar Express. And so the the band's playing. They're, down, you know, whatever. And then at the very end, <laughs> you just hear this ding, ding, ding. <laughs> That's a real thing. That that's a real. triangle. And that was Julian. Yeah. That's all he did was during the whole song, he just waited to play that ding, ding at the end. <laughs> that's and me and my that's mom kinda, like, laughed. Like, laughed. That's not a real thing, <laughs> that, though, right? That is over. Like, you don't trying. go to college. Oh, I got, I'm going to college. and like, I don't know. Triangle. I don't know. I don't think it's that type of real thing. It's like you're, we don't want to, we can't cut you. So here's this little triangle thing right because i know he was trying to go for the drums something happened with the drums i think he used to play violin too something happened with the drums they had maybe he sucked maybe he did suck on the (laughs) drums i'm just kidding i don't join it was a it wasn't still is i don't know if he still is but was a drum drummer in church but no he played the triangle (laughs) Ah. i know people that play violin trumpet 
Ooh, the saxophone. Saxophone. I know somebody plays sax. Clarinet. I don't, my sister used to play. Your mom used to play clarinet, I think, way back in the day. Um, yeah, she also used to work at a bakery, but. Uh, <laughs> What's your favorite Bible chapter? No, chapter or book? <laughs> no, but I read that too. I thought the same thing. I was like, chapter? What do you mean chapter? There's <laughs> Psalm chapter 30. Somebody asked. 39, that. yeah. Somebody What's asked. What's your Bible chapter? Favorite Bible chapter. I think they might have meant Bible book. Or verse. Or okay, verse. Come on, but someone can say verse. Chapter. Which is kind of like, oh. Uh, you know, I've been, so, at church. So I go to Good Life here in Modesto. You go to church? I do. I'm churched. Um, I go to Good Life in Modesto. <laughs> and right now, the pastor, John, is going oh, through. Shout out to Pastor John for sponsoring Hungry and Board Podcast by letting us use the equipment that you see here. Mm -hmm. so, Pastor John. Thank you, Pastor John, for that. Good life. Good life. Um, but he's teaching the book of Matthew right now. Ooh, okay. Okay. And it is, it is probably one of my favorite. And I, I mean, it, you know, it's like the death, burial and resurrection, you know, so right. it's as he, as he's teaching through it, it it can be like emotional. Like you you know, if you don't read it and get like emotional, there's probably, you know, check yourself. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I agree. You know, yeah. Um, so he's going through that right now. It's like he's on like chapter twenty six or something. But as he's going through it, I'm like, man, this is like, it's it's a it's a good book. You know, it's it's uh, it's good. And, and it's 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 probably right now I'd say that's my favorite. favorite. It, it's probably because I know so much about it because he's going through it in, like in detail right. and stuff. But you know, I would say Matthew, right now. See, I so my favorite book of the Bible used to be First Samuel, and it, it's generic. Oh, the book of David and Goliath, blah, blah blah. Like that used to be my favorite story in the Bible. But I think my favorite book now is Job and Job's story. I think that's something that I was able to, as a, so at school, that was one of the things I wrote a paper on was Job and everything he went through and how Satan tested him and God was still like, yeah, no, he'll still turn to me and everything. I think, I think that was, is currently my favorite book. Uh, I guess favorite story. Favorite book is James, though. James. James is a good book. James just has a lot of just like wisdom nuggets and a lot of things to just kind of remember to live by. And the one that I need to work on, and that's and I remember it. So my favorite scripture is in James. James. I know that one. Which one? Eateth less, and your body shall be thinner. <laughs> This is a funny guy. <laughs> He's a funny dude. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> James 1 2. Look it up yourself, dude. What's James 1 2? Look it up. What version of the Bible do you go? I use NASB. James 1-2. James 1-2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Yes. Why is that your favorite? I don't know. That's something that has stuck with me for years. Um, back in high school, that's... So I can't remember if somebody told it to me. Or if I was just reading, I came across it. But that was something that I related it. Oh, my God. Video games again. What's wrong with this kid? Shut up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I related it to, you know, you're going the right way or you're doing something right when the enemy is starting to tempt you. That's true. 
And the way I related to video games is because you know you're going the right way in a video game is when enemies start popping up. When your people are trying to keep you from getting to the end goal where you need to be, that's how you know you're heading in the right direction. Is when people are constantly trying to stop you, trying to tempt you, trying to do things to keep you stuck where you are. Now, if the enemy ain't attacking you, that's then you need to you need to do some some praying or some something like get your you know get your life right. But no, that's that's my favorite scripture. And then the other one that I really like is the the wise man is slow to speak and quick to listen. And then how we need to be slow to speak and quick to listen. Something like that. Wise man is slow to speak. Um, that is? Mm, is it Proverbs James 29? 2? No. James chapter 2. Proverbs 29, 11. A fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. Yep. James 1. Excuse me. 119. James 119, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. There you go. Ubinate, you're always angry. You are, though. Yeah, I know. That's why. I'm working on it. Wow. Yeah. And then my favorite portion of scripture, like big, like overall, I actually wrote a paper on it, is, oh, God. Is it First John? John 21. John 21 what? Um, 17? Uh, hold on. 15. John 21. 15. 15 through 17. It's where uh, Jesus is walking with Peter and he keeps asking Peter, hey, do you love me? And Peter's like, yes, Lord, I love you. Then tend to my sheep. You know, Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. Yes, Lord, he said, you'd know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, John, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Very truly, I see. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you dressed yourself and went to where you wanted, but when you are old, you will stretch out your hand and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Keep going. No, you, you kind of, oh. you went a little bit. I didn't know what, I was waiting no. for somebody to stop. <laughs> no, but it was right before that, that final part. So, uh, you know that I love you, Jesus said, I'm tending my sheep. So I wrote a whole paper on that about how people in ministry and in leadership, you know, the way we show our love of Christ is through providing to his sheep. You know, since we're all leaders in the church, we have to make sure that we're providing, we're tending to the sheep, we're feeding the sheep. What are we doing to make, to to herd the sheep? Because we're pretty much the shepherds. And then, you know, some people are like, oh, well, the pastor is a shepherd. Yeah, I get that. But in each ministry, any of the leaders in a ministry, I believe, are shepherds as well. You're tending to those sheep within or whoever's under you in that ministry. So I wrote, I think it was like a seven-page paper on it. Bible college. I'll just have chat GPT write it for me. You know what? Chat GPT did help me write my two final papers for my, uh, seminary school this last semester. It was a 10 page paper and a seven page paper. And chat GPT wrote the whole thing. Uh, Yes. But I, in order to kind of save face, I had it right. Um, so the topic was, I know your professor. He like listens. Yeah, I know. So, it's all right. He already submitted the grades. So, <laughs> semester's over. I'm, I'm, I'm in the wind. Um, so, the topic was to write 10 pages on Paul and his priority of ministry within the church. Um, and so, I asked ChatGPT, give me the, write a 10-page paper on Paul's priorities when it comes to ministry in the church. And it spit out 10 pages of topics to talk about from being a leader, being founded in God, making sure you're loving God, making sure that you're tending to the sheep and you're building other people, making sure your life is in order and blah, blah, blah. Sorry, just making sure the times, um, but no. And so from those 10 pages, 
I could have copied and pasted, but I had to make sure it sounded like me because I know my professor actually reads every single paper and he knows because all his feedback he gives me is specific to things that I write and how I write. So I had to make sure it sounded like me before submitting it, but it did. I got a 90% on it, 90% on that paper. And then I think a 90 on the other paper too. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Chat GPT, man crazy it's gonna change the world i'm telling you it will good or bad it will change the world probably for the bad probably. anyways thank you guys for tuning in today watching and uh being here for the hungry and bored podcast yeah. i'm your host juan what am i juan direction Juan Rodriguez, Juan something. I'm Juan something. And over here we have Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer. Flismo. Flismo. Ernie. So thank you again for watching Hungry and Bored. Until next time, stay hungry. And stay bored. Wow, we just made something. Yeah, you say did. stay hungry. I say stay bored. B-O-A-R-D. B-O-A-R-D. Stay bored. Catch you next time.